Well, folks, welcome. This is Spoon TV. We're coming to you live from uh, the office of Muswell County Senator Abraham Darius Dillon. We're about to address the press. I made the allegation of a lawmaker receiving half of the $30,000. Um, and so some people didn't want to the press. His news has, his name has been in the media recently. Let's listen to what the most relevant senator would say surrounding this entire issue. I'll keep following Spoon TV. Okay. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen of the media. Let me say good afternoon to citizens of Maserato County, in particular across the country, in general, citizens of Liberia around the world. Good afternoon, and thank you for coming. I haven't seen this number of journalists in a long time to a press conference here at the Capitol building. So it tells me that this is uh, really, really important. Let's get straight to the point. Um, over the last few days, the, the public have been made to believe that some money has changed hand here at the Capitol building in reference to 30,000 for lawmakers. Uh, this allegation has brought public outcry and I owe it a duty to my employers. My employers being the people who employ me with their votes, and I also owe it to my character, my reputation. Let me be blunt. I have received no 30,000. Senator Abraham Darius Dillon, I have received no 30,000. Since I became Senator 2019, I took a 10,000 loan from GT Bank and I paid. Since 2019, I've not taken any loan. I don't even owe a student club. Anybody who say lawmakers are in the habit of channeling their bribe through banks, bank loans, and then government pays, it is an open challenge to anybody to bring me any source of loan that I've taken besides 2019, I think October or November, when I took a 10,000 loan from GD Bank. Besides that, any other, and I am giving a power of attorney to all the banks. I'm authorizing all of the banks to release any information that they have on me to the public without coming back to me for verification. I haven't taken loan. I don't, I don't engage in those stuff. If I should take loan, private loan, why should government pay? So those who say, oh, they taking loan and hiding money through loan. The challenge is there. If you bring me any loan document from the bank and the payment is channeled through the government system with the traces of the record, I will leave this office today. Today. So I just want to be. Let me tell you something. When the thirty thousand dollar came, we raised it. It been in the budget for some time. We raised it. There was public outcry. And being one who believes that he serves the pleasure, the will and pleasure of his employers, the people, who listen to the outcry, who listen to the anger, who listen to the disagreement over this budget law. And so when the budget came, the draft budget came here. It was in the draft budget. Yeah. Here is a copy of the draft budget. Here is the draft budget. For those of you who probably don't understand this budget issue, when budget comes here, it has the legislature. The legislature, if the legislature is appropriate, uh, 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 projected to have 20 million 
as legislature. You will see 20 million for the legislature. The both houses meet, and the tradition has been that I met here is that 66 percent of that 20 million will go to the house, and the rest will come. The 33 percent will come to the Senate because of the number, the membership. So when you see 20 million projected for the legislature, then 66 percent is for the House of Representatives, and 33 percent for the Senate. Those of you who have toured with this budget before, you see here, uh, it's a legislature. On the legislature, if they, they, like they projected this for, for 20 million, they will break it down in both figures. And then on the same budget, they get House of Representatives spreading their 66%, and they have Senate spreading its 33%. Here's the draft budget. It carries legislative engagement. Yeah, it's the printed version of the budget. The printed version of the budget. This is the draft. Here is the printed. It carried the same sum of 54 million for the entire legislature, 33 percent for the Senate, 66 percent for the House. Then they gave the same budget line item, the legislative engagement and public accessibility still in it printed version of the budget. When you come to the Senate, 33%, there is nothing in it. We took it out. We insisted that this was unbearable to our people and bringing unnecessary destruction and killing some of our voices. So we insisted that it be removed. And once we remove it, they started to remove it from any budget. I just stated in session a budget line. We passed a budget for youth and sports. 750,000 for the youth center. The printed version is not there. They took it out. So the printed version sometimes come with things that we did not pass on or things that they wanted to put in the budget, but they did not put it in the draft because they know, uh, I don't want to sign it, that in. <laughs> most of all read it you know, after they finish printing it. In fact, it took five months for them to send this printed version of the budget after our insistence and consistency demanding the printed version of the budget. We passed a budget year of $84 million for domestic debt. That's what was on the record. The printed version of the budget came back with $69 million. How did it reduce without the knowledge of the legislature is a different thing. So I have wanted to say to, this, uh, to our people, I wanted to be clear. I wanted to be clear that I want to be clear that this day long, no $30,000. This city are sitting in, I'm ready to give it up to them. If those who think fighting to bring day long down can use this issue, those who say they go to bank for loan. I put on the challenge for the day I became senator. The only bank account I have is with UBA. And that's what the government has. The Ministry of Finance has my personal bank account for the purpose of depositing my salary and allowances. I am placing the Ministry of Finance on record with a challenge. Beside my benefits and allowances, my salary meaning. If the government of Liberia, through the Ministry of Finance or any institution, have deposited a dime in our account at UBA, up to when we sit in, where we sit in, more than my salary, something else other than my salary, I rather get a seat out today. Today, I'm aware of the consequences of. The beating I got a result of what I did with my ticket issue. I talk about that ticket issue all the time to remind myself never to do it again under any circumstances. That ticket issue was brought upon myself. I beat myself sufficiently. I spoke spoken to my people. They have decided to let it go because I'm a human being. I can never 
bring another thing to revisit any such foolishness. So those of you who have been running around saying, you know, Council of Valencia gave a parable in the Supreme Court in 20, 2007 when he was representing the legal interests of former Speaker Edwin Snow. The manner, the way they wanted to remove him as Speaker, breaking all the laws down, he said something in the court. He said, there's a rat in your house giving you hard time and you won't get rid of the rat. What a sensible thing to do, to set trap for that rat or to break the whole house down. They won't break the whole house down to look for quote unquote Dylan. You can't find Dylan like that. Find something incredible. This other one you're missing, Mark. Don't try harder. When I when I describe the cabinet retreat, a five minute cabinet retreat and two hour football, it caught the people of God. When I stood on the legislative floor on Tuesday to tear the recount budget apart. With sources of revenue very questionable, including 30 million to be endorsed by this legislature without legal reliance of the companies that the government is taking the money from, it caught them off balance. When I stood up and voted against the raw fund decision made here by the legislature in the majority, it cut them off balance. I want to tell my people, the dealer you elected is a human being. I'm not perfect, I'm not an angel, but I always strive to live by good conscience. I know how many persons rely on what we do. I know how many persons have hope that Labrador can live again because of us. We can sleep with him. Is that possible? Let me close and re-emphasize from President we are to the least person in the government. You all go to any bank. I'm giving public authorization to the banks in this country. I know some of my friends in the media. I hope you are listening to me because this thing is recorded and clear. I said beside a 2019, 10,000 loan I took from GT Bank, which has been paid on my constituency money. I have never taken any loan anywhere, not in Liberia, not in other Liberia, no, I haven't. If we're taking loan, if this deal I'm taking loan for the government to pay, has taken loan for the government to pay, I challenge the government of Liberia. Since I am the most sought after, public official in this government. And if the government is doing wine, willing and dealing with me, it is about time. Soon as they see that everybody wants to express the government, I'm ready to give it all to their own courage if they can prove it. No loan for no bank or any official arrangement. No loan for no bank on my own since 2019. They said, you know, people taking loan this year, some 26,000, or what kind of thousand, you'll go bring Dillon on. You'll go bring Darrell Dillon on up. When you take a loan from the bank, it has documented trail. And if the government's arrangement on some book of things, the government has record to show that they pay off your loan. I'm ready. I was shocked. But sometimes when people are looking for you, they don't listen to what the person who they rely on saying. The gentleman who brought this noise about missed the mark. But he said something. He said, oh, he said, I know that everybody in the house received this money. Senators do? No, I can't speak for the Senate. I can't speak for the Senate. If you can't speak for the Senate, then how is it that everybody open concluding that Dillon must have taken? I'm sorry for this country. It's like, oh, the people stole. Dillon stole too? Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, the post stole. Dillon stole too? No. They are right. I want to give God the glory that 
I'm being used as the compass by both my admirers, my supporters, and my focal critics. Those who even want to drag me down for whatever reason. I am grateful and humble to God that I'm being used as that compass for integrity in public service. That when everybody steals, if it happens, and one Dylan steal, it's okay. When everybody steal and Dylan join them, then the country is in panic mode. That alone should inform me that too much depends on this small show up. We can let the country down. I want to thank you. You sent away a set three questions. Yeah. Tommy Kennedy. Yeah. Go ahead. All right. Um, I'm concerned, Senator. You you been on a um, attack from, especially those from the wooden establishment, and I'm concerned about why do you think you've been attacked, and why do you think every time there's more scandal at the legislature, you're the first to be mentioned? Yeah, I set a standard for public service, and I must live by it. When I sleep, I must own up to it and make it better. That's what we do or should do as humans. But why do you think the ruling party attacking me? Simple. I alone am an army that can move just without even a matter. They move around the country. Why do you think they're running out? You don't see the CDC, my gay gang, them giving loan for student business in Montserrat? No. They carry everything else. Born, Nimba, no. This Montserrat, this is not arrogance. We will determine those that will be senate, a representative and senator of this county. And we stretch that voice and that clout to other parts of the country where our people can listen. The government is smart. They want to diminish this voice so that when the time comes, it can be striking enough. And even some people in the opposition who think I'm not supporting them, let's diminish their own voice so that they play leaning, it can be strong enough. I know all of our politics. I should not bring it on myself. I should not arm them like I arm my opponent with my own ticket banner. I pay for my ticket. All I was going to say, I pay for that ticket. Simple. So they after me, the government. You think I get time to respond to a four soldiers? I get time. My target is a majority of the margin democratically in 2023. And this voice is striking, penetrating. In this county, this county has 17 bedroom apartments. I have the front door key, then I have key to every room in the county, every apartment in the county, I mean the 17 district. We will lead the charge. And let me say it, even those from the opposition who were not physically, pre physically present to campaign for me, for some reason, certain lawmakers who from the country, who are part of CPD or support of the opposition, who for some reason thought I should not be re-elected, those who are sitting and doing everything as the government wants, you come out to me to tell you, tell you to the poor Montserrat County, you ain't gonna get my support. Besides, so far, besides Yaka Koluba, I will show face for Yaga Kolubas campaign in Montserrat County, this country, I would take lost CDC and the gang from all of this place. All right, Aaron Kuban. Yeah, yeah, Senator, my name is Aaron Kuban. I report for Spoon TV. Uh, on the issue about the budget, there are some who believe that uh, the money in order item might not be in the Senate budget, but it was diverted to something else, and uh, senators are taking their own cover. Secondly, uh, can you verge for or are you version for all of your colleagues you so running, you so running this entire money you issue, you or you are just saying that uh, Senator Dillon did not take this money? Senator said, "Lord, maybe I take it. Dillon took it too. And I want one spoon, and I want all more everywhere. So I have the duty to the people who trust us, believe us. More beside the people who look to us with hope." to come clean. And let me tell you something. If this government show any low transaction <laughs> today, I will get this seat up. It means I'm qualified or worth to be here any longer. 
a challenge president, we are an entire gang. So, just a follow up. I mean, to a follow up. So, you know, what I mean is that uh, I, because you referenced the budget, that this item is not in the budget. Uh, can you verge for the Labyrinth Senate that, that, the uh, that no member of the Senate has received any $30,000? It is on the floor there for honor AOB. The Senate will speak. Is that in the budget? And nobody will bring money to me that is not in the budget. So Senator Dillon has not received this money, but you cannot vote for Senator the Senate. Senator Abraham Darius Dillon has taken no loan with no arrangement for government. And I want to be clear to emphasize since 2019, I took a 10,000 loan on my constituency break money at GT and it was paid. Before we got no, they said they don't say he never took loans when he was born. Yeah, 2019 loan paper here. Yeah. I am keep emphasizing because I know I know what's up already. I'm ahead of the game. The whole 30,000 thing, it was meant to divide your attention. The government brought a budget here for us to do weekends of it with 30 million ISA from a company that has not earned legal status in Liberia, HPX. I think for some reason, most of the major newspapers carry that story today. Is that a discussion on any national radio? For some reason, a government president, we are said he's going to give $1 million for Zogo program in a weekend budget. And when I opened the budget in session on Tuesday, all right, all there, I said, President, we have been making commitment. He put in the budget when we approve it and pass it. He will say that he puts in money. I want the public to know this is government money and this is government program. They put in there all the time. This voice comes with credibility. Senator Dillon, who the whole country beating for 30,000, has not taken 30,000. He has not taken loan from any source for government to pay. My account is at UBA. The government of Liberia has my personal account number for the purpose of depositing my monthly salary in it. As I, when we sit, I gave general authority to, to, to UBA to open my account to anybody to go through since I started working as senator. If the government has deposited more than my salary, monthly salary, on one occasion, I will leave it open to them. The last question, Fessary Simo. Thank you. Senator, uh, we, we are talking about the recast budget. As far as the budgetary process is concerned, when the budget is passed and the government uh, realizes additional revenue sources, the president will usually send a supplementary budget. That is not the case this time. The president has combined a supplementary budget with a recall budget and sent it to the legislature. Are you concerned about that? My next point is this HPX deal that we're all talking about, only five million, which is an outstanding amount when you do uh, a combination with the HPX and the accelerometer deal that is captured in this recast budget. It means that 25 of the 30 million in question has already been captured in the already existing budget for 2022. Only five million difference is captured in this recast budget. No, you don't, uh, you, know, you didn't get it. There was 25 million projected and approved, appropriated by the legislature mm -hmm. that was <coughs> being expected from actual meter. Since the actual meter tear agreement has not gone through, as long as media could not pay that money. So the government is taking 25, I mean 30 million from HPX, 25 million to cover up for what was expected from Aslan Media, and the other 5 million, which is fresh money. So one minute, HPX, no 25 million in the budget was already utilized. If HPX, 30 million won't come, there will be a budget show for 25 million. Because as long meter that this budget was relying on, that transaction did not go through. So as long meter has not given the 25. If HPX deal or revenue does not go through, there will be a shortfall of 25 million on the original budget. I hope you get it. I get that, but then they've already used it to call up as a call up because it is not captured in the restated budget. Only five million 
It's because some of them. I don't know how you want it. No, my point said, is they've already, uh -huh. they've already subtracted the 25 million from the HPX 30 million for the use. So let me put it this way. Let me put it this way. If they have utilized the Adler meter 25 million, mm. eh, then the 30 million from HPX will be additional 30 million. Sure. Okay? Because the funny means to ensure that there is no trouble on that 25 million dollars that were expected projected from Azure Media. That is why they bring in the HPX 30 million. They will take 25 million to cover up for the, the potential budget shortfall of 25 million because of the Azure Media deal. Then there's a 5 million that was not projected or expected as revenue when the budget was passed. So the money or the revenue from HPX will call up from for the Astrometer D. I am questioning HPX. It is this uh, company that wants to transport the iron ore to the port of Bicana, from Guinea to the port of Bicana. When you're doing an investment like that, you want to know the volume of the in investment and whether it meets the benchmark for less relative action for rectification. If it meets the benchmark for less relative action for rectification and the legislature has not done so, then to take the money is troubling. Why if you take the poor money now, you legalize it through the budget? And when the third can they bring the agreement here and you don't ratify it, then it will be the same process, but NIR take the poor money and you put it in the budget, right? I'm signing the alarm now that it is wrong to do so. You were on your session the last time. They, got one, they have one million dollars there to pay the Norwegian government refund of from six million from the previous UP government. The Norwegian government insisted that the six million for uh, donated or contributed for some governance uh, uh, purposes in Liberia under the UP led government cannot be accounted for. And they wanted to hold the government like we are kind of President, we are agreed with the Norwegian government and the government and the, has negotiated to pay that money one million, one million by installment to the Norwegian government. And when we acknowledge that people do their wrong in the past, and we as people won't pay for their wrong, they the people must be paying for their wrong as well by facing justice. But when we legal, when we when we when we pass that budget, paying the Norwegian one million dollars, what we'll be doing will be legalizing impunity. The government is supposed to be righteously angry already by punishing those people who cause in Liberia to pay six million dollars that we didn't benefit from that they cannot account for. But we put it in the budget, we pass it to pay Norway, and those people who misapply the money can account for it. We we'll walk free. So these are some of the things we look in the budget. The president is around the country to him. Um, he will make commitments. Then they put it in the budget. We'll pass it. Then the president carry as presidential president project. They look like we are not doing anything. And the only thing that can come out of this place is 30,000. Let's squeeze the last person. Here we come up. Okay. Thank you. Conclude. Okay. okay, thank you for coming. Let me re-emphasize in closing. The people warming all the officers my hotel and I get there. They want to have legal talk. Yeah, they like ganja talk. A serious talk from a serious character. Those who say lawmakers can take loan and government can pay as a means of diverting the graph, quote unquote, you have an opportunity. If you went to any bank and they were insisting they won't give anything information for me, let me know. I will write authorization by giving a public authorization to the bank. And I want to insist. In Liberia and other Liberia, I have one bank that I'm dealing with, UBA, Liberian dollar, US dollar. The government of Liberia has only deposited my monthly uh, salary and benefits in that account. The government of Liberia, through the foreign ministry, has asked to my account to deposit money there. 
I want them to show us of today in power. When they deposited anything, all of them are monthly salary. Okay. Okay, thank you. Thank, thank you, you, Senator. So they are here for tenth for you in the Stone TV. Most of the senator people are here to address the press, uh, challenging and uh, to bring forward. Therefore, we are receiving to. From the government. Uh, so, uh, this equipment is on the after now to prove yeah, this yeah. allegation. Yeah. Thanks for being here. My name is Evan Kuba. Hope to rejoin you in the chambers of the Labyrinth Senate.